just went by to the video store that you asked me and I brought you a couple of DVDs uh, films that you can be watching at home as you're staying home at the moment um, I'm just gonna show them to you and you let me know if I got the right pick for you or not, okay? Um, I've been reading all the film's descriptions and I figured they would be suiting your style nicely but maybe I'm wrong so if you're just gonna let me know which one you enjoy you want to watch and which one you're not really into and you would like me to uh, bring back to the video store, okay? So let's see what I got for you Okay, so I have five films for you Let's start with the very first one, okay? So the first one I've actually seen and I love, 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 love It's the um, Animatrix and it's basically uh, all the animated short films which have been um, made in the Matrix um, storyline basically so before the films or after them and um, each short film has its very own unique styles different um, teams have worked on different different animated films so uh, if you like one it doesn't mean that you're not gonna like the second one or like it it's all very different and there's a bit uh, of everything really in these short films some are more uh, thriller oriented some are just so dreamy and cute and yeah it's really a bit of everything so I would highly suggest watching it really I know I really enjoy this one and yeah as you can see it's nine short films exploring the world of the matrix so the name of the films are Final Flight of the Osiris It's actually written by uh, the Wachowskis um, Actually, not all of them are written by them but at least the uh, three first short films are So the second short film is The Second Renaissance Part 1 and The Second Renaissance Part 2 uh, If I recall correctly these two uh, basically narrate the story of how the machines got um, in power, in position of power on Earth so it's very interesting to see this side of the story because in the films you do not really get to see that, I think so yeah, it's 89 minutes long rest of the short films are named Kid Story Program World Record Beyond A Detective Story Matriculated Scroll to Screen The History and Culture of Anime I think actually that's not a short story that's bonus content on the DVD Also there's a plus making of documentary on each film is very much interesting if you enjoy the short film you've just seen and from what I can see there's actually just the first one which has been animated in the US by Square USA the other ones were made in either Tokyo or Seoul for the last one yeah, by Madhouse Studio Studio 4 OC I think and yeah um, DNA in Seoul as well. So, yeah. I would very much um, enjoy if you watched it and given me a feedback because these are classic to me. And I think that not too many people have seen the Animatrix and they should be because they are very very high quality I think so yeah 
that's it for the first one The second one I haven't seen, so I cannot tell you if it's good or not. It's a classic of Japanese films and it's named Kuroneko by Kaneto Shindo. So let me read you what's written on the back. A Japanese box office sensation in 1968, Kuroneko is a sparse atmospheric horror story adhering to Kaneto Shindo's philosophy of using beauty and purity to evoke emotion. Eccentric and more overtly supernatural than its breakthrough companion piece, Onibaba, from 1964, Kuroneko revisits similar, similar themes to reveal a haunting meditation on duty, conformity and love. In this magnificently eerie and romantic film, loosely based on the Japanese folk tale The Cat's Return, a mother and daughter-in-law, Nobuko Otowa and Kiwako Taichi, are raped and murdered by pillagers and return from the dead as vampiric cat spirits intent on revenge. As the ghost lures soldiers into the bamboo, Grooves, a fearless samurai, Gintoki, played by Kishimon Nakamura, is sent to stop the reign of terror. Kuroneko remains a standout film of the Kaidan Eiga genre, period ghost stories often based on old legend or kabuki plays, marking Shindo's first use of wire work during Yon and Shinke's battle with blade wielding samurai. The film is subtly complemented by Kiyomi Kuroda's award winning Chaoskuro cinematography, Hikaru Hayashi's vibrant score, and riveting performance from many of the greatest actors of Japan's golden age of film. The master of cinema series is very proud to present Kuroneko on DVD for the first time in the West. Hmm. So, um, yeah, this one is a bit out there, but if you're into classic horror films from Japan, that could be interesting, you know? So, yeah, there are also a couple of special features, such as newly restored high definition anamorphic transfer gallery of vintage Toho production stills, um, of course English subtitles, and a booklet with a new essay by Doug Cummins and a vintage Shindo interview by John Mellon. So yeah. And the film in is um, 85 minutes long. And so yeah, it's in Japanese, but you have of course the subtitles. What do you think about this one? Yeah, it's a bit different, I know. But I wanted to give you um, different styles of film to sh choose from, you know. So you've got the Matrix, you've got this one, Kuronika. You have a nice um, booklet inside. reading as well. So yeah, why not, you know? Okay, 
is the next one is a classic and I'm not sure you've seen it already so I took it for you this one is um, Dracula by Francis Ford Coppola with Gary Oldman as Dracula but you also have Winona Ryder in it Anthony Hopkins and Kenny Reeves so um, yeah I figured if you hadn't seen it already you should be seeing it Read what's written at the back. Oh, it's not written that many interesting actually. On top, it's all about DVD. Well, I can read it for you if you wish, but it's not. It has nothing to do with the film actually, but I'm gonna read it to you. The Superbit Collection we set a new benchmark in the high resolution DVD picture and sound, creating the ultimate in home entertainment. Okay, that's just um, advertising for their own product, but whatever. All that's written really is three small lines on the films. It's written Gary Oldman with Narita, Anthony Hopkins and Kenny Reeves, star in director Francis Coppola's visually stunning, passionately seductive version of the classic Dracula legend. So yeah, it's around 130 minutes long. Mm, what else? It's from 1992, it seems. So yeah. I think you should see it if you haven't. That's interesting because in the booklet inside, once again, it's all about the quality of this DVD. Um, so yeah, it's compared to the standard DVD to a super bit one. And basically, they are leaving more space for the picture side. So I'm guessing the visual is much better from any other DVD. You let me know if you see a difference, okay? Yeah, this one is very interesting. Um, I don't know if you've seen other films on Dracula or series or anything, but um, I really enjoyed the story all the time, always. I could be watching any adaptation of the Dracula story, I think. And what's interesting is that Gary Oldman um, said in an interview that he read the script and he knew he wanted to um, do Dracula in this movie when he read the... it was a sentence saying I've travelled oceans of time to be with you and <laughs> he thought it was so so romantic he just wanted to have the role and he got it and uh, yeah it's quite um, intense I would say so I hope you enjoy this one so yeah next one now Next one is a 13 by Catherine Hardwike and it's um, a teen movie I would say but kind of a um, edgy one, <laughs> sad one I would say and um, it's written at the back in French so I'm gonna read it in French first and then I will, I will translate it for you, okay? So, Tracy a 13 ans du jour au lendemain, les fringues, le look et le regard des autres deviennent ses seules préoccupations. Tracy se cherche un modèle et une amie. Et vis à Mora, la fille la plus sexy et populaire du lycée sera son mentor. Relookée, tatouée, langue et oubli percée, Tracy découvre un nouveau monde, celui de l'interdit. Sa mère constate sa dérive, mais sera-t-elle capable de reprendre sa fille en main Ce film poignant, nous entraîne dans les tourments de l'adolescence avec une profondeur et une, authenti et une authenticité rarement atteinte. Les interprétations viscérales de Holly Hunter, nominée pour ce rôle à l'Oscar 2004 de la meilleure actrice dans un second rôle, et Devan Rachel Wood, 
Reed et de Nicky Reed, jeune co-scénariste du film, souligne une mise en scène originale couronnée par de nombreux prix internationaux, prix du jury à Deauville et de la mise en scène à Sundance. Citation, un film d'une puissance et d'une vérité rare par Cineops. Right, so, yeah, basically what it means is that uh, the main character is named Tracy and she's 13, as you would have guessed, and basically she's starting to go off rail, um, stealing stuff, uh, getting piercings, you know, and basically, yeah, going all the way um, through this kind of stuff, and her mother is completely lost, is having uh, financial issues and is really struggling uh, keeping her daughter on track, you know, so that's interesting how the mother see all this transformation and why Tracy is going through them and how she is dealing with everything. So I think it's a very interesting movie, either when you are um, an adult or when you are a teenager experiencing such things, you know. So basically the film is one hour and 35 minutes long. Um, it's from 2003 and uh, yeah, Oli Hunter has been nominated for an Oscar for this film and basically the film got a couple of prizes and yeah, I, I remember too that uh, the director Catherine Holweig had Uh, little to no money um, filming this one, this film and it's funny because uh, in the film you also see the main uh, well, the mother of the main character having financial issue and what's funny is that they were having the same thing um, during the filming of the film as well and they did it with almost nothing so I think it's an interesting film to watch and I do enjoy it so Hopefully you like it as well. So yeah, moving on to the last film I've got. The last one I'm sure you know, it's Alien. Yep. So it's classic really. And it's by who? Um, yeah, directed by Ridley Scott, obviously, with uh, Sigourney Weaver, and yeah, it's a classic, I hope you've seen it, but I wasn't sure, so I took it for you. Same, it's written in French at the back, so I'm gonna read it first in French and then translate it for you, okay? So, dans l'espace, personne ne vous entend crier. Le premier chapitre de la puissante et terrifiante saga de science-fiction, Alien. Quand les membres d'équipage d'un vaisseau spatial reçoivent des transmissions venant d'une planète isolée, ils ne savent pas encore qu'ils vont découvrir une nouvelle forme de vie, à même de détruire l'humanité. L'angoisse monte lorsque l'Alien décime les membres du groupe un par un, jusqu'à ce que Ripley se retrouve seul face à la bête. Réalisé par Ridley Scott, Blade Runner, Thelma et Louise. Le premier volet de la plus terrifiante saga de l'histoire de la science-fiction offre la première apparition de Sigourney Weaver dans le rôle de l'intrépide officer Ripley, aux prises avec un monstre sanguinaire et impitoyable. So yeah, Ridley Scott also made Blade Runner and Thelma and Louise. So he's already made a lot of science-fiction movies and other great movies, classics really. And basically, yeah, um, you've got... Um, Sagoni Weaver playing uh, Officer Ripley and she's on a spaceship with the crew and there's an alien obviously going on and killing everyone one by one so yeah that's a thriller science fiction-y kind of film which I really enjoy so I wasn't sure if you've seen it or not but anyway here it is So that's it for the DVDs, I hope that you enjoy my picks. Um, I've tried taking um, different kind of films so that if you do not enjoy one, you have others to choose from. 
okay? And also, um, I have this new single, well, it's not new, but I bought it recently, that I wanted to um, give to you as well, so I'm gonna show this to you. So the single is um, Style by Orbital, and yeah, basically you've got um, the single style and a couple of side tracks. I don't know if you know this band, but I figured it would be interesting of you to discover them. And um, yeah, what's different about this song style is that I think it's been mainly um, recorded via a stylophone. If you know what it is, it's a kind of a small instrument you're playing with a, a kind of pen. And um, yeah, that's interesting. They went for it, but. They are the kind of band to um, innovate and try on new things, so that's why they've done it. So yeah, I hope you'll enjoy this as well. I like the style of the city as well, it's very cute. So yeah, you've got song one, which is style, song two, Mark Tudor, and then three, old style. So yeah, um, it's from 1999, and yeah, it's all written and produced by, by PNP Hartnell. And yeah, on the very first track, you've got a sample from All Amour, performed by Dolly. That's it for my picks. I hope you'll have a nice time watching the films and hearing the music, okay? So I'm leaving everything here for you. Um, please let me know which ones you've enjoyed and which you didn't. And uh, I will come back in a couple of days to get them back to the video store, okay? So meanwhile, take care, um, relax, you know, enjoy the films and see you